This is the Plus 4 4 podcast. I'm ZZ Mills. Uh, yeah, what's that about? What was that all about? I'm Sideman. Music culture. UK. This is Plus 4 4 from Amazon Music. It is time to introduce our guest for today. Make some noise for Western! Woo! All right. We got the whole gang here with us, so let's get straight into it. The new mixtape, Western Season 3, dropped on September the 22nd, and you had Billboard set up for a sick rollout campaign, and then later that same day, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth tragically passed. Oh. Talk to us about that day. What was that day like? First of all, introduce yourselves, because this is worldwide, you know. Yeah, yeah. There's bare people listening to this. Well, go on, world. You good? What up, world? You go by the name of Western, my name's what up? Ray. World, highly. Akel. You don't know right. already. Sorry, back to the Queen. Yes, yeah. so no, Sorry. back to the Queen passing. We was actually live. No. Yeah. We was live. We was doing a live stream. With Alhan. Yeah. The king of not taking things seriously. Oh, oh my, my God. God. So oh that's my what God. we were scared of. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's you, what we were scared of. You guys would have got cancelled along with Alhan. Because oh you know Alhan, he doesn't no. have no film. He held it down though. He was, live. he was trying to oh hold it down yeah. very hard. Oh, so he didn't... Let, so he's seeing it uh, pop up in the comment live. section of the live. Oh. live and did he address it at all or did he just ignore no, it? No, no, no. It, all but the comments just, must have been saying that as well. Yeah, because also you have to be careful because imagine if people were just saying it to say it and then it wasn't actually true. It's funny because when I was at BBC, they used to say to us, Yo, if the queen passes, don't announce that. That ain't your oh, degree. Right. That ain't your. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's a you act different. like that didn't happen, and you continue to do your little tiny show. Yeah. Really? Because imagine the first, the first time on BBC, side man drops that. And then that imagine the that a yeah, black yeah. man drops that the queen dies. Yeah, yeah. There's like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be like life changing. Yeah. So nah. Wow. Just about the day when the queen passed. What were the conversations behind the scenes about how you're gonna do the rollout now, knowing that? Because obviously that's a media storm that's gonna continue long <clears> after the day. It was you a lot. Just yeah. had to humble ourselves. Yeah, it was yeah. a lot of to be confirmed. Oh my days, so, TV season. Yeah, lot, lot, yeah, TVCs. That must have been so annoying because you guys have been away away for a while. You haven't put, you know what I mean? This is your project, your yeah. Yeah. project coming back and then boom, that happens. It was unfortunate for sure. Yeah, because I, I can't imagine what it must feel like. But when, when the musician's coming back, they must be like, okay, we got to come back. This is the day we're coming back. And it's like you yeah. almost have to muster up the bravery to yeah, say, all yeah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, we're going to see if we're cold. We're going to see if they still like us. We've just done new music. We don't know what they're going to feel about it. You finally build up that courage and now it's just like, no, no sit down and wait. Mm. How's it been for you guys? Dropping the mixtape, being back together, putting out new music. How's it feeling? Are shining right now, you know? It's cold. Sorry, sorry, cold sorry. Still. I'll just, uh, yeah. I'll just <laughs> sidetrack there. I'll just, yeah. Guys, are you guys zooming in on this? Like, I don't know what the camera, but I don't know, but it's like here. Some yeah, people, yeah, you can't really tell when they they've glowed up or when more money's in their bank account. But yeah. ZZ will let you know. What's if, going like, on? Like, literally, she would, every single time there's a level up, something, <laughs> she, there's going to be a new boot. But also, these are just gems. Certain. It's just okay. gems. You know, okay. like the tooth gems. Okay. That's it. It was fine. But they, but look I they look good. I got them because I had a fantasy in life that I wanted to lick grills. Like, I had a fantasy that I wanted to lick. You know, like, when you guys well, were... In your, your own grill, grill you mean? Like, else's. someone else's grill. Okay. So, I was just like... I want people to have that fantasy when they see me. Like, I want them to look at me and be like, I want to lick her grill. Can I say you know something? I always, I had this dream that when we came back to the podcast, we would like really elevate the conversations into things that are really like, you know, a bit more like mature and stuff like that. How did you guys feel though about bringing out new music? Was you guys worried? Anticipation? Yeah, I was, I was kind of like, had mad anxiety about people hearing this project after so long mm. and what they're going to think, what, are they still going to mess with us? Mm -mm -mm. Like, I, so much things was going through my head personally, but what about you lot? What about you guys? No, nah, I'm, I'm always <laughs> excited to just release music. For me, I've experienced the exact same things in terms of anxiety and all that, but mm. um, I feel like in this industry, you either got to just block that shit out or... Yeah, or else you, you, you're paralysed, you kind of thing, you yeah, won't Yeah, yeah you won't yeah. be able to but, move. Yeah. What, about the, what about the pandemic, which kind of forced everybody to stop do you feel like the effects of that carried on even after things kind of opened up where it was like dipping your toe in water trying to see when is the right time to release yourself to the world? Or was it like as soon as now we're free, we're, we're going back, we're doing shows, we're doing everything? I think everything slowly came back, mm. but it was very slow. Mm. Like even when things started opening back up, the streets were just empty. Mm. As the festival season started with like wireless and all of that, everything started coming back in and then everyone started doing their shows and stuff. And I feel like it's getting better mm. now and it's only going to get better than that. So, For the people that don't know, when did you guys first come onto the scene? What year was it? 
2015. 2015. Yeah. Gosh, my gosh, that feels like it. Do you know what though? Like, that feels like it should be the other day. You were saying, you were saying the other day. Oh my yeah. gosh, that's yeah. such a. That's like seven, Nearly eight, eight years, years ago. Yeah. Yeah. That's mad. Imagine. Because I still remember when you first came out, mm. and I guess that's testament to you guys. Because even when they still play into you, everyone still goes mad. How does that feel? Are you proud? Like eight years ago, did you still think you still were gonna be here? No man. Nah, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, man. I, don't yeah. I didn't really think about. Them this, times was very much living in the moment. Right. right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Literally. Tomorrow you don't even know what's happening. You don't. Because it think. happened just when I say out of the blue, we put the song out, give it to Target, Target played it, and then literally about a week or two later, everything's going crazy. Mm. Labels up and down the high street. We had to kind of catch up to what was really happening. We wasn't ready for what was happening. That's when you have a song that transcends time, like into and like, it will always play. What does that mean to your career? I've always wanted to ask artists that have one of those, is yeah, like, or yeah. two of those or three of those. Like, what does that do and how does it affect your career? For a long time, I used to be like, flip sakes, like, why do you still have to perform this song? Mm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but Same. now, when I st still see people singing it, I kind of appreciate it and it shows like what that song, how it impacted people mm. and it always brings them back to a moment every time they hear that mm. song. So I just give thanks now, man. You just have to appreciate it. So obviously you guys went through You Are A Three and then there was a two at the moment, but you still were technically a three mm -hmm. because you had gone away for a little while. Mm -hmm. Was you ever scared at any point where you was like, oh my God, mm -mm. are they going to get tired of this? No, never. you never felt like that. Never, never, never. There was times when I would hit them and say, just like, you lot crack on because there's no comeback for me if it did this. Right. And it was them that was keeping me, my spirits up, you get me? Mm -hmm. So I never once thought they'd leave it there, oh, they're going to crack on without me because they're my family, you get mm -hmm. me, at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And it's the three of us, Yeah. you see what I'm saying? And if that was the case, I feel like it would have been a thing where they would have just gone off and done their own things. They right. wouldn't have carried on Western oh, okay, all right. as I them two. You. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But for them to keep it going, and I say it to this day, and it, the love I got for these two is crazy. It's a different kind of respect. A whole lot of love, man. A whole lot of love. <laughs> man. It's Whoa, different, man. It's different. How much love? Let me ask you a question. <laughs> <laughs> David is all. No, no. David's going to come with a scenario. So, say Island came to you and said, nah, "You're going to have ten mil, but no, not." Like, like, you're nah, always going to. You always come with these weird <laughs> scenarios, testing everyone's. Nothing bad like that. Okay, go on. Are you Eskimo brothers? What the hell is that? You never heard of Eskimo Brothers? Sounds like some fruity stuff. Like <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only person that knows what Eskimo Brothers. Let me try to explain it in a palatable. I thought way. you meant like you'd like kiss each other on the nose. No. What's this? All right, all right, all right. Okay, let's say <coughs> you and ZZ mm -hmm. were close. Mm -hmm. We are and now close. you and ZZ. Oh, so are close. he's basically saying do you share girlfriends? Is this oh, your friends is a strong word? Or share 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 girls. Share, share girls. Do nah. this this does this happen? Nah, nah man. Look at them. It's like... <laughs> no, basically, we're not Eskimo brothers. Okay, <laughs> okay cool. Let's talk about... I wasn't done with that. I... No, because we are done with that. Like, you always want to care. No, like... let me ask one more question about the Into. I think it... You know how they have artists where sometimes when they did a song originally, they had a label situation where they didn't own the song fully or rated it. If you had to record certain songs from back in the day again, do you think you could record it and make it sound exactly the same? Yeah. You Whoa. think not exactly I the same? Know. I, I think know. I, I, think I don't sounds, know. Actually. I, I, don't I know. think I'd deliver even better. I'll be honest. Yeah. With you. Oh, okay. You think it'd actually be better yeah, if you yeah. re-recorded yeah, it? Yeah, it'd definitely be different. Mm. I, I, I feel like it is what it is, and and that encapsulates the moment and mm. and the essence yeah. of that time. But yeah, 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 if yeah. we're talking like sonically and like uh, cadence and confidence, then yeah, better. Okay. Fair. How would you guys describe your sound? Would you say you're feel good? Feel good. You yeah. don't want to like group it in because there's always obviously oh. these conversations about Western and NSG and all these oh. type of things mm. and whatnot. What your sound is, what their sound is. I couldn't put a, a, a no, yeah, yeah. I couldn't say exactly what you guys are. I couldn't, to be fair, because yeah. I just feel like we can we do do everything. Right, right, right. Every sound and. Do you think you guys are appreciated as much as you should be? Do you think you're giving your flowers? Honestly, I go feel, on. Me, uh, look. I feel like, yeah, a lot of things. No, 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 real talk. Check it, yeah. I feel like um, we, I will speak for everybody, but 100% I speak for myself. I don't feel like when it comes to all that clout stuff and being, trying to be in the mix of mm. socials and all of that kind of stuff, man, it, that's not really the type of time man's been on. So I feel mm. like it may look like 
things ain't popping or things ain't happening, but like we still travel the world. We still like it's still like real love and Lovely. we still like it's mm-hmm. still if you check the numbers like there's still a lot of stuff going on. Because you know. have you have travelled the world. You've been yeah. to Kenya, yeah. Toronto, Saint Lucia. You you man are like doing the doing the damn thing. Yeah. You know that it, when you say that, I am actually kind of sick of the scene and how small minded it is in terms of core. I won't call it core audience because I feel like that's the wrong word. Initial audience, you know, mm. we start yeah. up where we're, we're in our own community within yeah. our own culture. And then we have a view of our culture that is attached to social media presence. So we think that people aren't going on with anything if we don't see it Mm. and if we don't love it. And it really, really annoys me because it's so small minded. That will limit your thinking in general. Mm. That will have you chasing social media clout that will probably might even ruin your music later because people can now, they they find it impossible to divorce you from the present. Because in the social media era, especially for people that are quote unquote gangster, they found the transition tough. Mm-hmm. Man says something to you disrespectful on road. You, you're either going to say or do something back. Mm. Now people are disrespecting you on social media. We've seen a lot of people that, you know, said there was tough people <laughs> on social media. The spelling internet sounds wrong. Weird, you, know, yeah. you can't listen to the internet. Yeah, yeah. Grammatically yeah. incorrect yeah. and that or getting the sentence wrong. Or, you don't know what I'll do in this time. If you say you don't know what I'll do on social media, you just sound dumb every single time. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, so it's just Facts. like, you could be out there trying to chase that and actually ruin things. But yeah. in our community, a lot of the times, you you feel like that. But if I was an artist, that might affect me. Because if I'm looking in the comment section and everybody's like, oh, these man ain't whatever no more, or these man this or these man that, I might go chasing after the people that ain't even supporting me no more. Have you guys ever felt the pressure to do more stuff on socials? I think that you guys are really, really good and I love you guys and what you're about, but I always feel like I don't know you guys, mm-hmm. if that makes sense. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know Louis, mm-hmm. I don't know Hailey, I don't know Akel, I don't know you individually. And yeah. I think, like what Dave is saying, although that is annoying sometimes, that is the world that we're living in. Mm-hmm. So do you mm-hmm. ever feel like, okay, maybe I need to do a bit more social stuff, maybe, you know? Yeah. Louis, Louis, yeah. Louis, Louis pops out every now and again yeah, with a little a video and says... I know, it, bearing yeah, all his chest and all the girls, like, oh my God, Louis, like, yeah, yeah, relax, with a deep relax. voice. Yeah, so no, 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 but yeah, man, feel the pressure for sure, but like, I don't know, man, like, man, jump into it and then it's just like... It's like, long, innit? Yeah, bro, it's long, man. It's like, long. me personally, bro, it's just long, bro. Feels like a separate job. Mm. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. It feels yeah. like a whole separate so job. So have you had any pressure where they're like, oh, you need to do more TikToks and that, man, like... yeah. How do you approach that? I've been seeing rappers do some TikToks that have shocked me. <laughs> yeah, bro. No, 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 no. Yeah, bro. I know. I, 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 I know. <laughs> I've, never, I've never posted on TikTok. Ever. I know, I do. I find it really weird when I see them do stuff like, <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, yeah. I don't know about that. Yeah, I, don't know what's, yeah. I don't know what's happening. I've been trying to get these up to do TikTok. Yeah, yeah, he's been I loved feel like if anyone out of the, if the <laughs> but you like, I feel like you like to music will, was the type of music that would work on TikTok. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, for that, sure. You, for sure. Get, you might have to put on your dancing shoes, bro. Nah, nah, I'm telling them, bro. Nah. <laughs> One, two step. I'm telling them. I feel like Akel, you're the person that would get everyone a TikTok. You seem like the most. Definitely. I've you, been trying. Are you the most outgoing out of the three? Yeah, I'd I, say I, so. I, I was. I think so. TikTok I've, would work for you, lots music, definitely. So Western season three, what does it sound like for the people that haven't yet listened to it? What can they expect? Give us all the lowdown. I like how Louis exp- um, answers this question. It's sonically evolved um in terms of the way it sounds obviously it's always a it's always a feel good factor in it and i feel like western embodies bringing light to darkness because it's a Ooh. given in it we all come from a real place in it and everybody mm. knows that and if you're around us you know what is the real life of it in it but that's not what we're always portraying it's very much yeah. feel good vibes mm. speaking for people that just want to, you know what I'm saying, see the good and just enjoy themselves you with, s- with the realness. You see, um, when you say like feel good music, yeah. right? Do you do you ever worry? Because I love a feel good music, mm-hmm. but I realise at the moment, it's I feel like it's coming back. When we came out, no. Fair, fair enough, yeah. that's actually a good point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When yeah. we came out, we was being put on like grind bills and that. It would be like, <laughs> <laughs> mad music in the Western. Like. I'm trying to get a power bill. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, so it was, it was crazy that like, we was turning up. I, 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 I don't know. Like, good music always last mm-hmm. and mm. we, we get very caught up in the moment yeah. and like how things look now and things get mad views and all that like 24 hours and that but yeah. how many people's Listening really like replaying it later. how many yeah. people are still getting excited about have songs where people when it still comes on in the club it was like yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I never yeah. has it come and I'm like oh god here we go again so it's like oh yes this yeah. was yeah. you know what I mean like <laughs> yeah you guys do because 
you brought our hair in less than you, but that's true. Yeah. That's basically what you're saying. Wait, it's I, was to Brom, it. I was in Brom, yeah. I was going to ask you, man, this what's the shortest set you've ever done. Do you mind come Brom in two songs and watch <laughs> Oh, no, wait, wait. What club was that? I can't remember where we were. I'll tell you, you, we, remember, you remember I, there was an even shorter one in Brom. We walked in and walked out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where's this going to be? Yeah. Like, All right, cool, cool. I know them, yeah. man. So I'm, I'm, I'm on stage now beside him, and I, I marched through to make it to the stage, you know. <laughs> them man did two songs and he was like, no. Surely not. And I was like, maybe that's what the budget stretched. Yeah, no, maybe, maybe that's what it was. <laughs> baby, baby, baby. I love Bram though, but it's a mad place, yeah. bro. I do love Bram though. Wait, so you did bro. another set that same night? No, no, but I'm saying another oh, time. You've done we a went short one. Yeah, just in and out. You've yeah. rather traveled to another city and did one song and left. Yeah, for sure. For where's, sure. where's your yeah. favorite place that you've uh place that you performed? Like city in England? Or anywhere in the world? Africa, if we're talking out of the country. Ooh. Really? Yeah, the energy is different, man. It's real electric and it's real. In Nigeria it really, for me. Yeah, it puts things into perspective. It's just really? different. Very different out there still. Yeah. So what's the what's the love life saying then? Yeah, yeah, no, when I, I seen him come in with that top that says wholesome, I realised we weren't going to get nothing from him. <laughs> Wait, like, why you, when I say love life, everyone looks at me like I'm talking a different language. Like, no, no, go on, go on, go on. Go on, go on. No, I, 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 like, I like your realness. I love your realness. Okay, well, so yeah. what's the love life saying? Not much, I'll be honest, you know. <laughs> no, okay, okay. No, real talk. I swear why to not? Uh, I don't know, man. Well, I, 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 have I knew you got kids? Yeah, I got kids. I feel like this question would have been good like seven, eight years ago when yeah. you guys just came then, into it. But then, now you are bored. You're yeah. bored of all the girls. No, You're just like, oh, yeah. here we go. Yeah, 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 fine. I don't believe that. No, I do. I think they grow <laughs> out of it, it. You think that, yeah, but no. it takes... No, no, I do think men grow out of it, but it takes... Us My bro, really long listen, time. you are, you are very years. smart, man. Yeah, you're very intellectual. Yeah. I see how you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, and, and real recognised, real, bro. Yeah. And I'm at a place in my life now, me personally, mm. Where it's just like all that noise tired. is long, bro. Like real talk. Like, they've been here for eight years. Do you know how boring it would get? Uh, like the guys now, they're gassed because it's all like, oh my god, like all no, these I girls want you, me. But this is how men get bored. They still say come through, but they're bored. Do you get what I'm saying? No, so no, it's no. all still happening. Oh. But they, do you get what I'm saying? That's how yeah. man get bored. Like, can't even be bothered, man. But let me text her. Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> She's still coming, but I'm bored. And this, do you get what I'm saying? It's like, it don't give the same thrill, but all the things that you were occurring right, right, are still right, right. occurring. I, I think it's about being with somebody that understands. Yeah, 100%. Your, you know why? Because you look like you're having fun, yeah. right? I've left you at home. I'm out. Picture this, picture yeah, that. Yeah, 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 mentioned yeah. in the story, yeah, yeah, yeah. all are happy. Yeah. You're like, I'm sitting home bored. You're out there happy. I'm being paid to look happy as well. You know, like people have to remember yeah. that yeah. our that's job true. look fun. They do. That, that's an issue for that's people. That's why I'm gonna find it. That's so. overlooked. Because well, you're, you're trying to make them feel like you're sad that you're going. It's like, oh, I'd, I'd, I'd love to stay, but I gotta go. No, you wouldn't love to stay because I'm gonna see a bunch of stories that make it look like you're very. <laughs> 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 well, sometimes it's hard to make them believe that. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's tough, yeah. man. No, it is. Yeah. I have that trouble. But you what, with your man? man? I don't no, have a man. man. Exactly. So you don't sure. have trouble with your cat? With your mans. With Dave? Sure. Sure. No, <laughs> as in, I don't have that. I have that trouble, as in, I think that's why it's hard for me to settle down because it looks like I'm out all the time having fun. Having fun, right? but I'm not. Do you know, why I'm having fun, but it's I'm not out. It's not social. Do you get why they don't understand easy, that you have to be? Out. Why are you laughing, Lou? Why are you laughing? No, no, I, I, I got so much love. For you, <laughs> no, but it's true. It's so it's hard. Yeah. For you, for uh, you, Zizi. I don't want to be single. Though. That's the Neither difference. do I. Oh, okay, I don't want to okay, be single okay. either. Yeah. See it yeah. right there, Lou. Yeah. I don't want to be a player. Hint, hint. Yeah. <laughs> I know it makes sense if you both don't want to be single. You see what I'm saying? And you need somebody that understands the industry. You get it. You go out. The two I don't understand. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it all makes sense. All right, but yeah. So, what else have you got, guys? Got coming up? What plans do you have for the future? Got a tour in January. All right. Um, Manchester, Birmingham, London. Actually, we're doing bare places. Yeah, there's loads more places, yeah. but the tickets well, are out well, now. Well, well, so, well. do you guys do you guys still enjoy touring and all that? Yeah, 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 that's yeah, yeah. Say it's easy. No, 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 but come to our show still. Yeah, <laughs> no, 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 man, no, man, no, really love touring. No, no, obviously, we ain't really been able to. Like, it's been so so long. So, yeah, like. That's that's real. Yeah, the fun, journey to traveling with each other is yeah. sick. Like, and yeah, I, I always think if it was like just one, <laughs> how one artist, some obviously he can bring his brethren, whatever. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Like going on the stage together, when you all doing, understand. That's yeah, different. You yeah. can bring a brethren. So back to the back to the brother exactly. thing as well. Yeah, like see, we've shared moments here. Yeah, that you can't explain to nobody else. No one can't fathom certain things that mm. we've experienced together because we was there. Like so, like yeah, it's real. It's real deep. Do you know how much girl is gonna get off saying fathom? 
<laughs> Did I say Babel? Sorry, I didn't even realise I said that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, I'm not even trying. Listen, you're, you're the That's smart crazy. man. You know, <laughs> you know, you know Babel. You just said Fathom. Sometimes I go to Google some of the words you be saying on Instagram. I'm like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? All right, then, people, make some noise for Weston. So in a recent interview with Howard Stern, 21 Savage said that he might be the greatest rapper ever from the UK and Drake agreed calling him the pride of London and there was a bit of backlash from a few of us over here. What do you think about that? You know that whole thing, the whole interview, all that stuff is fake. Yeah, yeah The yeah. whole rollout thing is yeah. fake. I, it wouldn't need to be fake for me to not take that seriously. I was just letting, I was just saying it was fake. Yeah. It was, it's not... Um... It's like 21 Savage says he's the greatest rapper out of the UK. And you actually let that trigger you. We gotta start policing our triggers, but like I know, but I feel like can't it's, be everything. I feel it's Gen Z. I'm just blaming it everything on Gen Z mm. because who would, like you said, who would actually believe that? Now nah, there's some big old crusty man in in, in comment section We're saying that. Like, no, bro, how can you say that? You? But they must know that he's trolling. If Twenty One Savage was being serious, or maybe he is, whatever he is doing, if he's not, would you agree with him? Would you say he's a contender? Oh, really? Oh, no, I can't do that. Why? So who would you... I have who to would... take that back. I Why? have to take that back Why? because if you're talking about lyricism, I actually think we have the greatest in the world. Who? I think Wretch 32 is, oh, yeah. is probably... You put Wretch 32 in there, put Getz in there, put Kano in there. Who's the American artist that they're going to say? They're going to say Jay-Z. They're going to say Nas. They're going to say... Bye, yeah, yeah, if yeah. you're talking about straight bars, mm -hmm, not mm -hmm. maybe influence and impact worldwide, mm. but if you're talking about just bars, then people stack up and go beyond. That's true, but people don't care about that anymore. Yeah. People only care about... Don't get me wrong, I do... I'm not like a hard 21 Savage person, yeah. if I'm being honest with you. Um, what I see of him, I like I him as a person. Yeah. He like when I've watched interviews with him, he seems mm -hmm. quite mature, or mm -hmm. he's but he's matured and, humble. and he's humbled. Mm -hmm. He's humble and he understands the game and he understands you know how it works and all those kind mm -hmm. of things. So I when I hear his interviews, I kind of uh, I kind of like him. That's the British in him. Mm, you think so? There's got to be a reason why he moves a little bit more humble than his peers. And I think it's because, like, for instance, I think wherever you grew up, wherever you've lived, it becomes a part of you. Right, right, like, right. When I was in school over here, I did feel like just the time that I spent in Jamaica made me a little bit different from my peers. I don't know how, but it just made me, there's certain things that you attach anywhere mm. you've been. I feel like me coming to live in London for a bit and then going back to Brom has made me a little bit different. So yeah, when you was in London, you was a bit more cooler. Do you know what I mean? You was a little more, things were happening. Do you know what I mean? Now I've just realized that in Brom, like all you do is just build things in your house. And there's like this weird, like cinema. Happiness is the word that you're looking like for. Like fishes and like <laughs> swans and, oh my God. But also I want to say thank you because David looked after my mum. Oh snap! ZZ's mum was at my yard for the Olympics. ZZ's for the mum was at my drum. All right, chill out, man. He's all like ZZ's mum was at my yard. Pause. She slept. She, uh, no, fast forward. But we pause it for like, <laughs> Let that run. Let that sentence run and take it. However, Shay Barrow, now is your time. <laughs> no, I'm joking, but yeah. no, he's looked after my mum and she really enjoyed it. My mum went to the Commonwealth yeah, Games yeah. in Birmingham and David. And she didn't uh, want to fork out an hotel, so she stayed at my I know. Yard. My mum is so like, people go, like, what? You couldn't pay for your mum's hotel, you know? <laughs> well, you let's stay at David's house. And I was just, people in the comments be me, like, what? So you ain't bought your mum five houses yet? What are you playing at? It's no, my like, mum bought me one instead. Exactly. There you go. Big old flex. It's See what there, I mean? There you go. You know what what I mean? else has been happening? Oh, um, Skepta fake designer brands. Um, are fake designer brands now the trend? Will it catch on? Because Skepta says that the faker the Gucci, the better, and swears by his collection of counterfeit Gucci. To be anything, anything Skepta says is right. Skepta could say that, you know, we can't wear Gucci anymore. And I would throw all my Gucci things out because whatever Skeppy says, Skeppy's right. Well, <laughs> Sorry. As a more objective being. <laughs> Do you know what's so funny though? The yeah. other day I was somewhere and this woman, or this sorry, this guy, mm -hmm. he had a Gucci hat on and I couldn't help but look at it and be like, I wonder if that's fake Gucci. Yeah. Because of all the stuff that's yeah, kept yeah, yeah, yeah. But don't you think it's so mad? This is when people try to say that our culture or hip hop culture or our culture is not influential when we talk about music. Mm. The fact that now everyone's have, did you see him like reposting everyone on yeah, his story yeah, that were like, yeah, yeah fake Gucci, yeah, yeah, fake. Yeah, yeah. Then Clint did it. Who yeah, does? Yeah. Who does? Um, all the Cortez stuff. He was <laughs> like, yeah, fake Gucci's the best. And I'm like, the way that everyone now is saying like fake Gucci is sick. That's how influential. Skep Skepta basically said, wear fake Gucci, only mm. wear fake Gucci, and everyone's mm -hmm. happy to wear fake Gucci. What I like about it is what he's really saying 
is that the design is better. That's really what he's saying. He's saying, forget the word Gucci on the label. He's saying the clothes, the way they look, it bangs more. And I think for a long time, for a bit there, fashion was about who said it was cool, not about how it looked. Yeah, but also I think also what he's saying as well is that because one of the on his story, he says something about like you can't you can't play us as in don't use mm. our culture make it a thing mm, mm, and then now do you know what I mean yeah, like we us, yeah. yeah yeah we make your shit cool mm, like mm. we make Gucci cool but we made it a thing we are the ones that allow them to do that and this kind of goes on to the next topic who this guy needs time because he could branch off to so much Kanye West right Um, Kanye West complains about deals he signed right do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, right, it's right, like, right. It's like literally, and I feel like there was a time we could do that. It's not in the last five years because all we talk about, what rapper hasn't said, the label messed me up. I signed a bad deal. Mm. We've heard this over and over again. Like Yeezys didn't come into invention 20 years ago. No, nope. It's recent enough that, and he's famous enough, rich enough, has enough lawyers that he should know what he signed. I'm really tired of people signing deals and then complaining after. And I just want to say one more thing on that. Nothing that Kanye West said is special. How many times have we heard rappers complain about labels? Or people in the industry complaining about people that are above them. Messing about. What he did that made it different was be anti-Semitic. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? That's the only thing that made it different. If he had come out and said, listen, some of these labels don't treat us right, red it would be saying the same thing without being discriminatory. And that's my issue with it. People think Kanye West has said magical things. I know, when yeah. he said very basic things that right, people right, say right. all the time. Kanye West though We can all agree that He's gone very much downhill No we cannot all agree uh, What? We agree Oh right no, <laughs> In the comment section Yeah I mean Some people have they've, People have started GoFundMe's I could to not To make Kanye believe, West A billionaire again I could not believe Pay that Pay your rent That's when When Bro. I saw that I said we, we are, And you know what Pisses me off about this whole thing Yeah Is that Kanye will disrespect us again As mm-hmm. black people mm-hmm. And we will all start crying again. We'll say that we're done with him. And then we'll go and buy all his stuff again. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I mean? No, people people are about Kanye West like you are about Skepta. What? They just turn a blind eye? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. (laughs) Just turn a blind eye. If Kanye said it, it must be right. No, no, no. I think a lot. I think... mm, but that's what happens when you are that powerful. And that's why there's this uh, this repercussions that have happened. But with Kanye, to be fair with you, I honestly, I've kind of kept quiet about this whole Kanye thing yeah, because Kanye doesn't know how to articulate himself properly when he's going through whatever he's going through. Mm-hmm. I think he's very good at making us think what he's doing is for the for us. For us. It's for him. And it's for him. Yeah. And that's and that's the thing where I don't like that because you literally said all these things about George Floyd. And and also, I can't support someone that continuously just like shits on black women all the time. Mm. And I feel like he does that a lot. There's been too many times where he's called out black women, like that woman from Vogue, when she basically um, pulled him up on some of the stuff that he said. Mm-hmm. He posted her on his story, he put up her shoes. He did all these things. You know what I mean? You've got mm-hmm. so many people following you and you chose to put a black woman on your platform and, and like basically, you know, like take the piss out of her mm. so people can laugh at her. Do you get what I mean? But you're supposed mm. to be, you're supposed to be for us. He always just seems to be coming for black women all the time. Mm. It, to me, it's quite disappointing. It's sad. I think mm. the whole situation is very sad. At this point, I'm just a bit like, ew. Yeah. I'm more I'm more annoyed by Kanye supporters than I am by Kanye. For like enabling his behaviour. Not even just the enabling, it's just it's so easy to get people these days. People love disruption. Mm-mm. And anything they see disruptive, they cling to it because they hate the way things are. They hate the way the world works because it hasn't worked for them. Fair enough. That don't mean that everything disruptive is good. But People love when somebody's saying something that they shouldn't be able to say. Mm. No matter how dumb or nonsensical it is. It's why people like the Hulk. They don't want to see a hero with sense. They want to see somebody just lay waste <laughs> right, right, to right. everything around them and watch it all burn. And when we don't let it burn, they'll say we sold out. Right, right, right. Have you been called a sort of sellout at all oh, recently? Yeah, oh, yeah, because the thing is, it's just... But this is the thing. You signed those contracts. You knew. If all these things were such a problem, why are you only making a fuss now when you're not getting your own way? Yeah. So that lets me know it's nothing to do with us as a people. Yeah. Oh, as black people, we need this. Let me ask you a question. When a brand comes to you, yeah, and offers you so much money for doing something that even you feel like... I rather don't even deserve this for what they're asking me to do. Do you say to them, ah, oh, now nah, you know what? Yeah, I don't, I don't think you should pay me that much. You should actually pay me less because I don't think it's actually worth it. Or do you take the money and say, yeah? 
But there's been times that I've said no because I just didn't think it was for me. It's something you're willing to do mm. and they're paying you an exorbitant amount. Do you not just be like, yeah, thank you? Yeah, I take because it. Because that's business. Right. <laughs> so they are supposed to try to mess you over in the contract. They're not your friend. They want, well, yeah, they want exactly. your work for right. as little as possible. Right, right, right. It's yeah. as simple as that. It's your job to understand your value. And, and also, if he was so over, if he was sorry, we'll move on. Like, But if he was so over the establishment, then why did you rock up to Sketches? Like you literally, you were so over the establishment. You don't care about the establishment. They trying to do he this. They're trying the to establishment. Things. <laughs> if Sketches gave you enough money, you would have signed that deal as well. So it's not about any of the things that he wants to. Anyway, enough about Kanye. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about somebody else. Yes. One of my favorite people, Stormzy. So Stormzy um, and Adidas have announced Murky FC, which is a new collaboration. It's basically championing careers dedicated to boosting diversity in the football industry, but more behind the scenes, I believe. So yeah. not for actual footballers, but for people behind yeah. the scenes, because as we know, there's not really, I don't think there's one black football manager, is there? Is there one? I don't know. I'm not. I'm not that into. Is football. there? I don't think there is. I don't think there's a. Anyway, there's not a lot. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I think that's really good. But you know me. I love Stormzy. I think Stormzy's anything. Stormzy's Batman. Stormzy's Batman. I know. I think anything Stormzy does is always done deliberately, and I and yeah. I think he does it with with thought behind it. He but knows I what he's doing. I also think he does things with very good intentions. Oh yeah, hundred percent. A lot of the things that Stormzy does on face value. They're not the things that would bring the most quote unquote clout. Like right, this, right. this football thing, it's a great thing, but it feels like more something somebody would do because they want to. Yeah, when yeah, he yeah. does murky books, when he these these things that he does to open doors for other people, I just think I actually find them to be well intended. The reason why I think it's great is mm. because the other people are deliberately just black people, if that makes sense. Yeah, 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 like yeah. he is for black people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what I do really admire about him. Um, and I think he said it in his interview with Louis Farou, like he's he's like unapologetically mm -hmm. black. Mm -hmm. So I understand that other communities might have struggled, but I know within the black community, we have a lot of struggles. So I'm going to help the, yeah. my people. Do you know what I mean? First and foremost. And that's what I always respect about him. So big up to, I wonder if I could, you know, like maybe, maybe I'll become a football manager. Or you stay in your lane. Oh, yeah. yeah. True. So before we dip, remember to check out all the new releases this week across the Plus 4-4 playlist on Amazon Music. This week sees new releases from Stormzy, Wizkid, Avellino and loads more. As well as the main Plus 4-4 playlist, we also have the Plus 4-4 R&B playlist, the Plus 4-4 rap playlist and the Plus 4-4 Afro playlist. And make sure you follow us on Instagram at Plus 4-4 UK where you can see snippets of this podcast, exclusive content and stay up to date with all the new music releases. You have been listening to the Plus 4-4 podcast from Amazon on music with me, Sideman. And me, ZZ Mills. Listen to the Plus 44 podcast wherever you get your podcasts or listen early and ad free on Amazon Music. So basically, Mondays it's exclusively on Amazon Music and then Fridays everywhere else. Isn't that what I just said? The Plus 44 podcast is produced by So Incredible with Wondery and Amazon Music. Your hosts were ZZ Mills and Sideman. Audio engineered by Nathan Cooper, filmed and edited by Marcus Accent, photography by Naomi Koji Payton. The podcast is filmed on location at Fiction Studios. The executive producer for So Incredible was Harry Anthony. The executive producers for Wondery and Amazon Music were Kamal Mehmet Lu, Richard Knight, Jessica Radburn, and Marshall Louis. Thanks to Weston for joining us this week, and thanks to you for listening. Listen to the Plus 44 podcast wherever you get your podcasts. Or listen early and ad free on Amazon Music.